Like, what is that about? What you even know? Um, <laughs> it's hard to say because we we at the point now. Um, the ones who haven't really figured out who they are, they they at the part now where they just want to tear something up because they feel that something ain't right and they don't know what it is. And that's why you have to get your irritations under control. Yeah, get myself under control too. Mm -hmm. That's all part of it. I have like, I started spirituality when I was 13, like after my daddy died, my mama, she got into it and this I got into it. And from there, it's been like heavy, basically. Because it's like, because like, I, I'm, I guess me and my mom were like the first two to be awakened in, in our bloodline. So it's like we got to learn from other people or ourselves. So it's not like we really know what we're talking about or what we're doing with them. So yeah. it's so easy. It's like this. You woke up first because you're the only one qualified, you and your mama, to cook breakfast for the rest of them as they wake up. And what's so so crazy too, my mom used to tell me that she used to, when she used to sleep, an uh, angel named Michael used to talk to her. Warrior like, angel. Huh? The warrior angel. Yeah, and I used to tell her, like, I used to ask her, like, could they possibly be your spiritual parent, one of your spiritual parents? Because she said he come to her a lot, all the time. Those are, okay, so, in, um, in a different religion, let's say Ifa, right? Or let's say Vadum, you be attached to a bloodline of one of the ancestral hierarchy spirits. Right. And they communicate with you just like you're talking to me now. Only are you spiritually and emotionally stable enough to interact? Right. Okay. It makes sense. Because I also, in my, because I try to like extra project and stuff so I can talk to my dead people and like, you know, how this stuff go. But it, I saw my daddy one time, but he would not talk. And I don't know, like, if I see them in a dream or something, it's just nothing. Like, they don't talk for anything. I don't know if they got something to do with me or what. It's your development level haven't understood the type of communication they're giving you on that frequency. They might not talk with words. They might be telepathically talking to you, and you're looking at them, but you ain't grasping that they're using the mind to communicate with you. Right. Because they are on a higher dimension, right? I know they're on a higher dimension. Than so... But we do. All our ancestors is... is information in our DNA now. Okay. So if we examine the self, what's in our DNA, it'll come forward and communicate um, through your subconscious mind. That's why you have to learn how to merge conscious with subconscious, which is a training exercise that's very difficult. And it's lengthy to practice and learn. I have been been trying to get into some um, spiritual practices, but like I said, I'm new to it, so I don't really know like too much about like the different practices and all of it. So, then when I do yeah. research, some people you don't want to step on these people's toes and all it, you know, crazy stuff. So I don't know. But I will figure it out. Thanks for mm -hmm. accepting the call. Nice to talk to you. Okay. All right. You're welcome. I'm about to let another caller in. Okay. All right. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it do.
while well, I was waiting on this other person to come in. How do we know what's our position in war, especially being a teen, and how do we live without the fake government? Uh, fake government going to be gone. We're going to figure it out. We don't need them here because they are obstacles to us figuring that part out. We know our, our position in war based on our um, skill set. What are you capable of doing um, in this war? Right now, we fight in the information war and we fight in the spiritual war. That's the remnants of an old conjure of amnesia that we was in to battle with people that look like us and determine if they would be able to deceive us into believing that we came from another part of the planet other than the Americas when we was already here. And so what we're looking at now is to um, rebuilding of our um, communities by, by understanding the mechanisms of economics, education, entertainment, labor law, politics, religion, sex, war, and health. So that's 10 areas that we can start to research until we figure out our qualifications as to how we can use what we know to best benefit the collective of our communities. I hope that answers your question. Okay, I'm gonna try another one. He declined. Coach Pat. Um, for anxiety, try uh, St. John's Ward in Skull Cap P. Peace, God. How you doing, God? I just, mm -hmm. first of all, I just want to say I appreciate you for doing what you do. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm big into finding out about how we can utilize tech moving on creating a new society and civilization how you feel about ai and do you recommend using it or if you do what are the best ways for us to use it? so and when you determine in the upcoming era we should use something the first question is how do it affect the children the second question is how do it affect the earth if you can use a tool without it ne negatively affecting the children and the earth and it can improve the life, you're supposed to use it. Mm -hmm. You know, man create the technology that we have now. They got way more advanced technology that's being uh, withheld from the people mm -hmm. from um, healing chambers and med beds to um, um, free energy cars that can run perpetually mm. they don't they can run a car off water but they can also run it off air mm. but see they don't want to do that because they can't capitalize in a capitalist society right on what you don't know right right so we we start exercising the mind by reading books we don't read books to tell us who we are we read books to get somebody's perspective other than our own and to be weightlifting for the brain right right and it just so happened that as you download your genetics will put the information in the order that best serves you in your bloodline right right and they call it they call it being encoded light codes in the dna right, right? we call it when your ancestors talk to you Right. You see the difference? They come in scientifically, we come in ancestrally, historically. They gonna tell it in a physics formula. We gonna tell it in a fairy tale. Right. They gonna give us some numbers to crunch. We gonna flip numbers in the letters and the words and the alphabet. Right. Right? So we gonna use it from a higher creative standpoint because that's the only way you can prevent yourself from being conquered and to overcome your your conquerors if you've been conquered. That we wasn't conquered, but it sure looked it like it. We were still at right. war. Right, right, right. Right? While we was at war, they put in an interim government to 
operate the mechanisms of government, which is one of the um, um, the couple of the different areas of people activity, mainly labor and law, because this is what they use into justification of government. They use an our labor to fund a war machine and a war machine, all of their war machines is pointed at us. Right. Right. But we don't know that because they stay apparently at war all over the world. Mm -hmm. Right. But they are being financed from one central location called Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So Switzerland remained neutral in all the wars because they funded both sides, Hegelian dialectic. Problem, reaction, solution. Keep them fighting among themselves. They'll never have the time to figure out they're oppressed. Right. They'll never have a time to figure out that their heart is attached to the earth over over right. here. They'll think they're from somewhere else because we told them. They'll believe us wholeheartedly. Right. That don't feel right to me. Right. It feel like we should have a say in that. 100%. You know, I got, so. I got one more question. Mm -hmm. I found my calling. My calling is to teach my community about health and wellness. Um, one of the big challenges I'm running into is getting people to take that portion of their life seriously. Um, well, I, that they, I also teach health and wellness, and I know exactly where you're coming from. People believe that these diets they have in us is our natural diet where they wouldn't have to worry about health and wellness. Mm. Right, the misdirection, switching out the bison with cows. We don't know why they did that. Mm. Right, because cows right. are native to this land. No, and all cows are hybrids. Right, and if you notice, they've been blowing up and setting the blaze and killing mass slaughter of cattle. I have. No. That's so that the the farmer can recoup it on the insurance before the corporation go down, because mm -hmm. it ain't gonna be no GMO allowed, no artificial food to the people. But we first have to get to the position where we can control our own food development, our own farms, right? But as for now, you're starting to see it all over. The chicken farms, um, they are collecting that insurance money. They can't sell the uh, GMOs coming in from the farm now. So the farmer have two recourses, let it sit there and rot, was set it ablaze and then recoup it on the insurance because the insurance companies was defrauding the farmers the whole time. Why not get some of your money back? Mm, so well, that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. I was watching a video about how uh, there was over like 1,900 food, food processing plants and, and farms being blown up and destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Because, because the the law of the land is to protect the children for the next seven generations. We at the close of the age going into the Aquarian coming out of Piscean. We have to give whatever order that benefits the most people on the land. So I say no more GMOs and all of a sudden all that stuff start happening. Mm -hmm. I, I see I see vast opportunity as well. Yeah. It's a vacuum created from the side effect. Mm. So that, that, that must mean we really got to take creating for self more right? serious, but they pushing us away from that so much. If you see the commercials, the ads, the marketing, the promotion. Saw the Lord of mind into disregarding what's in the best interest of the self. That's what it's all about. Mm. They got the advertising agencies was the biggest clients to the central intelligence agents for the data that they collected during MK Ultra mind control research. Why would advertising agencies be so interested in spending millions of, if not billions of dollars to um, further this research and implement it into their ads? This is where they came up with doing the MK Ultra did the Coke popcorn experiment on the sub on the single frame of a video to determine how it would affect the people and popcorn and uh, Coke sales shot up. Mm. So th that immediately caught the advertisers attention. If they can make the Coke sales go up and the popcorn sales go up, 
what would it do to put a naked lady on the Budweiser commercial for a guy that drinks beer? Right. Right? It's so she advertising the beer for a man and she in the bikini. Right. So but it just kept on replicating the same system. Yeah. Using it in different ways in the on pictures, on uh, in magazines. All of the ads is designed to seduce the mind into disregarding the best interest of the self mm. in order to for them to make money off of us. Man, make me think. I know it's kind of veering off a little bit, but about the children and about, I work in the school also um, every day. That's my, what people would call the nine to five. I work in the school and I'm noticing that number one, the kids don't want to be there. That's e easy because the curriculum is not challenging enough. It's not stimulating enough. Number two, the teachers don't want to be there because the system is not giving them the autonomy to properly dis teach and to teach the kids. So what I'm seeing in the future, I'm like, it ain't about to be no school no more. It ain't gonna be no public school no more. It nope. seems like and then the whole educational system has to be revamped. Didn't they just if I'm not, if I'm I just talked to one of my partners, they said they just shut down the whole Department of Education for the United States. It's possible because AI running out of money to keep the artificial facade in the place. As it runs out of money, it starts shutting down what it can't afford to maintain using the law of efficiency to stretch each dollar as far as it can stretch to maintain the government. Mm. Right? They already said that by June the 1st, they pretty much going to be, AI not going to be able to run it no more. They was using AI to allocate resources to government agencies to give the appearance that the government was intact. Oh, so you telling you telling us that AI has been running the government for since before AI has been introduced to us on the mainstream. No, AI has been running the government on its own, giving orders since since January of 2020. Mm. It had a certain amount of money it had to use up to kill the old system, mm. right? And this is why you got police stations closing in some places, right? Fire stations closing, schools closing for lack of funds. Cincinnati, I think, was it Cleveland or Cincinnati? Well, it's a city in Ohio um, to start with a C that didn't even open back up after January the 1st of this year. Government closed, mm -hmm. right? You have um, people that's driving around in police cars with stickers on them telling you that they're not even in service. They just riding around. Mm -hmm. Right. We're not paying that no attention because AI got us thinking this business as usual by being such a efficient spender of the funds to maintain the system. But sooner or later, it's going to run out right? because they no, no longer have the resources of us as collateral to keep it running. In the meantime, we have to try to inform many people as we can clearly that this system is over with and we go into a new system and AI is also using fear tactics to keep people subjugated. Right. How am I going to be scared of a stranger on the land and I got all my family here? Hold on, hold on. You know what just clicked for me? This, it sounds like the Wizard of Oz. It's exactly like the Wizard of Oz. When you see the character behind the curtain, you realize he stole Big Mama's um, keys mm. and acting like he a grown man driving the machine. Mm. And he's a clown the whole, whole time. Mm. But it's AI. It's artificial intelligence with a four-bit quantum encryption system using the law of efficiency the rules of finance, fractional reserve banking, in order to stretch these last few dollars as far as they can be stretched. And as he ran out of funds in one area, it's got to close down. Right. This is why you see, I think the guy in California name was Gavin Newsom. They called in the National mm -hmm. Guard. Those are the only people money not cut off is the military. Mm. AI has no, 
full control over the military, only the political government and the artificial structure. Right. Right. So once once they but they, but don't, they don't have, have to teach, teach a, lot a lot of this stuff. stuff. In their practices, practices, by practicing, practicing the control, control of the chi, chi in very different, different, different forms, forms, you can, you can perform, perform these feats. feats. But it but takes it us back, back to what we've seen with the, the drill teams, 